Hello everybody, welcome to this video all about geometric operations, which is a type of measurement and data question. In particular, in this video, we're going to be discussing circumference. Circumference is the fancy name for the perimeter of a circle. The definition of a circumference is 2 pi r or pi d, where r is the radius of the circle and d is the diameter. Pi refers to the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter and is usually given to you as 3.14 or 22 over 7. We need to understand clearly the properties of a circle as well as being able to work out surface area and volume of any circular object such as the sphere, cylinder or comb. Pay attention to how the question denotes pi as this may vary throughout different questions. Okay, so circumference, like we just read about, is basically a fancy name for the perimeter of a circle. So it's essentially this line here. Now, the circumference is related to its diameter. And this is basically a discovery made quite quite early on in human civilization where this mathematician called Archimedes discovered officially, well, there was actually uh, evidence that people knew of roughly the relationship between the circumference and diameter before that, but Archimedes was the first person to officially figure this out. And he discovered that basically the circumference can always be found by dividing the diameter, and that will always result in essentially the same number regardless of how big the circle was. So even if the circle was this big or this big, the circumference divided by the diameter always gave us the same number, and that number is pi. So that is why the equation for finding out the circumference is pi times by the diameter because dividing or rearranging the equation, dividing everything by d, we get c divided by d is equal to pi. So dividing the circumference by the diameter always gives you the number pi. So that's kind of like the backstory of how we figured out these equations. And of course, uh, pi 2 pi r is exactly the same as pi d because uh, d, of course, stands for diameter, and the diameter is equal to 2r, where r is the radius. So if we take the equation c equals to pi d and replace the d with 2r, since these are the same thing, we get the second equation 2 pi r. So uh, that's kind of like what we know about the circumference. And the other more important thing to also talk about is, of course, this mysterious number pi. Pi is the number you'll see often as these two numbers. And that's because pi is what we call an irrational decimal. So it's actually a number where the decimals go on infinitely long and that's why it's a bit difficult to use an infinitely long number in calculations so what we do is we kind of round it up to the nearest two decimal points or use a fraction that gives us a very similar number to estimate pi rather than actually use the entire infinite long number because we can we can see that that is quite a bit of an effort to use now we use these two numbers because pi is 3.14159 etc that's just the first five numbers that i've actually got memorized you don't need to do that all you need to do is remember the first two decimal points for most cases and you can very easily see why 3.14 is a common estimate or 22 over 7 if you actually do the division divide 22 by 7 we get a number 3.14286 ish and you can see that's very very close to the actual pi value as well so that's why you see uh questions will ask you to use these two. And it's very important that you follow the correct definition of pi in these questions, because uh, depending on the rounding effect, you can actually get a very different answer to what the question wants you. So you need to use the specific amount of decimal points or the fraction needed for that question. 
Now, one last thing is that because the circumference is related to the diameter and things like that, we are often required to use the circumference to figure out things like surface area or volume because it allows us to figure out what the diameter is. And so those things are going to be quite linked. So let's talk about the common equations we may need for these types of questions. So starting off with 2D shapes, we've got the uh, circle. So for the circle, we've got things that we need to work out commonly. We've got the area, which the formula is pi r squared. And we've got things like the circumference, which we already talked about being 2 pi r. For 3D shapes, there's a bit more variety. We've got the, um, what is it? We've got a sphere, which they can commonly ask you to find the volume of. So the volume is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And they also can commonly ask you to find the surface area. And it's kind of similar equation. It's 4 pi r squared. Other things that we may need to work out are things like the cylinder. For the cylinder, the volume was, is exactly the same as the area of the circle multiplied by the height of the cylinder. So it's just pi r squared h. You can also find the surface area of a, of a cylinder because we know that the cylinder is composed of essentially two circles, which we already know how to find the area of, and a long rectangle. So that involves you using the equation of a rectangle. Finally, the last quite uncommon uh, shape that you may ask be uh, may ask to find the stuff of would be the cone. So one thing they ask you is of the volume. So the volume of a cone is exactly the same as a cylinder, because if you think about it, a cone is essentially um, a cylinder, but it's been cut into thirds. So there's three of these cones that are equally sized when you make a cone. So that's exactly what the, the equation is. So if you remember the, the equation for a cylinder, you can remember the equation for a cone. That's exactly the same as a cylinder divided by three. And of course, you can figure out the surface area as well by realizing the net of a surface um, of a cone is just a circle and it's got a portion of a circle. So that would be involving this equation times whichever portion this is. So those would be the major things to talk about when we're dealing with circumference. So to try all this out in practice, let's try out this example question here. Here we're given Three different size circles are aligned next to each other as shown below. And we want to find the distance around the three circles, making sure that we use pi is equal to 22 over 7. So if they're asking for the distance around the three circles, they're essentially asking us to find the circumference of all three circles. So to do that, we talked about how circumference C is equal to pi D or C is equal to 2 pi R. Either way, we need to figure out the diameter or the radius of these circles. And unfortunately, they haven't given us the diameter or radius of any of these circles. So we need to use these clues to figure out what D is before we can even think about calculating what C is. So let's take a closer look at these circles. We're given the distances of varying sizes of the joined distance of the diameter. So hopefully we can use that information to figure this out. Taking a look at this line here, so that would be this long line, is given to us as being 42 centimeters. So this distance is 42. Now we're also told that this distance is 35. So then if we take the difference of those two distances, we get what this value is equal to. And that is thankfully the diameter of the first circle. So this section is going to be 42 minus 35. So that's gotta be seven centimeters then we can use that information to figure out the next diameter. 
See how this side is 21 centimeters. So that's this length. Now we also know that this is equal to seven centimeters as just calculated. So we can find the difference by looking for this diameter, which is 21 minus seven centimeters, which then gives us 14. Finally, we, it looks like we can use that information since this line we already know is 35 centimeters and we know that this line is equal to 14 centimeters. So the final diameter has to be 35 minus 14, giving us 21 centimeters. Okay, so let's label these circles just so we know what we're talking about. Uh, now let's figure out the circumference of each of these circles since we have all the information we need. We're told for the first circle, the diameter is seven centimeters and the equation we just need to multiply by pi and we're told that what value of pi is 22 over seven. Thankfully, quite a very easy calculation giving us 22 centimeters. For its circumference of circle two, exactly the same process. We use pi is equal to 22 over seven. We know the diameter was equal to 14 centimeters. So seven goes into 14 twice, giving us 44 centimeters. Finally, for the last circle, exactly the same, 22 over seven times by 21, seven goes into 21 three times, 22 times three is equal to 66 centimeters. Okay, so now we have all the pieces of the puzzle. Because the question wanted the total distance, all we need to do is add these three numbers together. 22 plus 44 plus 66. That should give us a grand total of 132 centimeters or option D. Okay, so through the example question, we saw how important it was to understand that the circumference is a ratio between pi and the diameter. Once we knew that, we could very easily figure out what the question wanted from us. So that would definitely be some techniques that we use for circumference questions. Hopefully this ends up helping you in the future.